Run a scan of the ship. I detect no life signs, but there may be useful technology or information still inside. Looks like it was stripped after the crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. Process, but this isn't a military ship. Just bumping the command line up a notch doesn't work. Cap Cap Captain Fairchild knew this crew, crew, crew. His replacement doesn't command the same level of respect. I'm hoping the man has it in him.
repeat. Toxology alert. Danger of rapid neural decay. Local flora chemically... Overgrown. Corroding. Looks like they set the beacon up years ago. Why wait to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as... Record deleted by Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues. Unsafe deceleration. Local food and neural decay. Beacon activation protocols. Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours, following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback. Activation was triggered remotely after 8 years, 237 days, 7 hours, on the authority of Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded as... Record deleted. Who is in command of this ship? Where are the survivors? Captain Harris Fairchild reported killed following unscheduled suborbital descent. First Officer Ronald Taylor promoted infield to acting captain. But where is he now? The location of the remaining crew of the Hugo Gernsback is unknown. This beacon has been unattended for several maintenance cycles. Come on, let's get going. My father had a working beacon, but didn't sing for almost nine years. Maybe. That neural decay affected him. Avoiding it for a decade seems... unlikely. You came? From the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The Hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. I... I, I don't remember how to say it. He's our leader and we serve so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were... they were cast out. He exiled them. So they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Watch out! Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them! Agents of the liar! He will not escape! We've been spotted. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> That wasn't neural decay. They were feral. My father wouldn't let this go on. Something is very wrong. You killed them, but there are more every day. They want to fight, but I just want to go home. She's lost it. We need to find someone who can make sense of this. that a settlement? They'd better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers.
they're clearly docile, but in the same uniform remnants as those who attacked us. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently? It makes males get violent. Possibly. But the woman on the beach said the exiled ones came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To... decay. You are cursed with his face! Not the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. Why would my father force his crew to eat toxic food? Whatever's happening here needs to stop. keeps us, protects us, and we please him like he demands. The hunters will kill you. They fight because he exiled them and waited too long. He is bad. He has a bad face like the other, like him. You'll hurt me. Please reconsider your aggressive attitude. have engaged. Impact imminent. Your captain demands obedience. Weapons are forbidden. Critical system damage. Patrols like that are a little much against this bunch. Well, that would make them hate him. Maybe it was just for defense. Please, here. You could end it. You have his face. But you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read, but this was the start. What he promised, and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Jacob, what does it say? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. He wasn't command material and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle, or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers, like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon and keeping people safe. All killed within the same week. About a month after the beacon was repaired. Does it say why he separated the men and women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he allowed here, Shepard? I don't see any justification. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out. But they did fix it. And the signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. Do you see an explanation for this? He's your father. Is he? None of this fits. Maybe the initial decision, but the rest? Abuse of power doesn't get any clearer than this. I need to find this man.
The old corpse has been posed, like a warning. The new ones were left where they fell. The hunters started fighting back. Threat neutralization initiated. Excuse me. Careful. Impact event. Detected. System three. Hostile forces have engaged. Unit number offline. I've got him. Now he wants out. Requesting assistance. About that one. Oh. Careful. System proximity warning. A critical system damage. Impact imminent. Highlight force to have a Take 
Taking cover! Here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you are acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not unreasonable, Captain, but ten years? What happened? God damn it! Why did you do this to your crew? There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance, like an instinct. Pure authority was easy, at first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial, rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. What happened to the other officers? 
Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. It seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. We can help these people. Cerberus can have ships here in days and pull everyone out. He's not worth the fuel to haul him out or the air he's breathing. He's damn lucky I don't think he's even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. Maybe we go arrange pickup for the rest of the survivors while the acting captain deals with the hole we punch through his max. Now wait, I'm supposed to get rescued. The crazy ones, you don't know what they'll do to me. We can guess. My father was a different man, Shepard. A good man. Wish I'd found him. Jacob! You are a better man dead. As far as I'm concerned, you still are. Jacob! Ships are inbound to pick up survivors, Commander. We can be long gone by the time they get here. Don't even give them the tail lights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did. But I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor's body has some catching up to do, but the man died a long time ago. I've already dealt with that. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea Miranda was behind this. No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. 
Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Come on, we got work to do. Aye, right, Commander. Shepard. Thanks for the help. Any time, Jacob. Kasumi is an interesting addition to the crew. I can see why she's good at her work. She never reveals anything meaningful about herself. It's all on the surface. It'll be a challenge getting to know who she really is. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Morden would like to speak with you over in his tech lab. Jack would like to see you down in her hidey hole on the engineering deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Shepard, important news. Know you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember my work? Studying the Genophage? Refresh my memory. Studied Genophage as part of Special Tasks Group. Checked Krogan population, ensured Genophage was working. Didn't tell you full story. Discovered that Krogan population was growing too quickly. Overcoming Genophage. Had to take steps. Personally led a team, created new version of Genophage, released it onto Chanka, other colonies, re-stabilized Krogan population. I doubt you wanted to give me a history lesson. What's going on? Blood Pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. Do you think they found out your team updated the genophage? Unclear. No way to determine until we get to Tuchanka. We'll go to Tuchanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my student, want to see him safe. Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pack. Talk to them or Clan Chief. Jack would like to talk with you, Commander. Only half our fuel remains.
you're looking for work, you're shouting down the wrong hole. The Blood Pack only recruits Krogan. Ah, oh, Tachanka. Crude, dangerous, and probably radioactive. Let's get in, do what we need to do, and get out fast. The clan leader wants to speak with you. Talk to him soon, alien. If we decide you're not welcome, you'll know just before we kill you. Take your business to the clan leader. Someday we'll get off this rock and show those Turians who's boss. Damn right. Tear their scales off and let the Pijaks feast on them while they're still alive. Ha! Erdnot clan reports use weak encryption. I see references to a captured Salarian in the logs of the Chief Scout. Put on the top scout deck, or Chief. Either one example. Were you around when the female camp sent the children over last week? No. I was off dealing with a Varen attack. What? Any promising warriors? Yes, of course. They're strong. One day they will tear our enemies apart. You don't want anything I sell, human. It'll tear your insides like you swallowed knives. Greetings, human. My name is Ratch. Have a look at what I've got. Everyone I talk to hates that aliens are an Erdnot, except you. I don't have the luxury of turning away paying customers. I do enough business off-world to know that you aliens have more credits than people here do. What do you have in stock? Most of it's food and drink that's toxic to humans. Rincall's a local favorite. Don't try to act tough, it'll tear your insides apart. Otherwise, I've got weapons, scrap, and whatever food those pie jocks don't steal, which isn't much. Take a look at my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. What the hell is a pie jack? Off world vermin. Humans say they're like monkeys. They come in and steal food, ring call, whatever they can get their talons on. We started using the mounted defense cannons to stop them. I'm a good shot. Maybe I can help out with the pie jacks. Feel free. You can use the console out there to control the guns. Make a dent in the Pijak population, and you get a discount. Good luck with that. I should go. Suit yourself. Good Varen. Stay. One of the children, probably five years from the life. Yeah, my eyes. Think you actually had a fertile female on one of your- Watch it, human! Let's see what the human can do.
What do you want, human? You're crowding my hump. I'm looking for a Salarian. The Blood Pack captured him and he was last seen around here. I heard about that Salarian. Poor bastard. If it's Blood Pack, then Clan Warlock has him. Sent one of my scouts to check it out, but he never reported back. Guess they got him, too. Chief told me to give you one of the trucks. Just follow the highway to Warlock's base, if you've got the quads to deal with him in the Blood Pack. What can you tell me about Clan Warlock's base? Last I heard, the clan was holed up in an old hospital. I haven't seen it, though. I've only seen Clan Warlock from a distance. If I'd gotten closer, I'd have taken a shot. You get inside, though, bring a big gun. Warlock's base is crawling with blood pack. That doesn't sound too defensible. Why'd they hole up there? Any hospital on Tachanka has to be built well enough to withstand a bunch of enraged Krogan. When an injury forces us to switch over to secondary organs, things get messy. Higher thought processes don't always transition properly. Blood rage, they call it. Any idea what they're doing with the Solarian? I assume they wanted to torture him. You don't take somebody home just to kill them. It's messy. Maybe he pissed off the blood pack, and they brought him here for special treatment. No skin off my hump what they'd do with him. One less alien on Tachanka. You don't seem to have much love lost for aliens. Don't get your quads in a twist. If I was gonna kill you, you'd know it. Rex believes we need to unite the Krogan people. I don't think we can do that with off-worlders interfering, but it's not my call. What's Clan Warlock's reputation, and how are they involved with the Blood Pack? Tough humps, and they're not friendly like we are. You ever run into the Blood Pack? Mercenary gang. Clan Warlock started it, one of the only gangs with an off-world presence. They're fanatics. Totally devoted to Warlock Gold. Whatever they did with your Solarian, Gold's behind it. What makes Gold so special? He's got two children. One of them is a girl. Some people think he's got a destiny. Not me. I had a cousin who won 20 consecutive games of Quasar. Lucky bastard. I'd ask my cousin for a loan, but I wouldn't swear allegiance to him. Luck. That's all it is. Same for Gold. But the Blood Pack has non-Krogan members, like Vorcha. Ha! Huh, the Vorcha. They're just like the Varen. Only they can use guns and don't crap on the floor as often. The Krogan are the only real members of the Blood Pack. Anyone else is just there to soak enemy fire. Thanks for the information. Anything that gets rid of the damn off-worlders. You can take the truck over there. You need anything else? Talk to you later. Eyes straight ahead. The child. My son. He played tackle the Baron. It was... He was good. Fast. Strong. Well, of course he was. Any son of yours must be. Then they went back to the female camp. It was so fast. I didn't get to talk. I lost half my stock in a bed on the pits. But it was the good half. Seeing those vermin roasting in the heat from an explosive shell. I swear it was glorious. It was a lot of fun. Help yourself to more. There's no shortage of pie jocks out there if you get a craving for violence. I'll give you a discount at my store. Anything you want, you buy at cost. I should go. Suit yourself. This might be useful. Here, try this. Ha! <laughs> 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 
Looks like Gers finally found someone to follow around. Should I ask the female clan for right of parentage? Why bother with all the politics? You know you desire a son. That's enough. I can teach him the hunt. The best way to shoot a gun. To fight with honor and savage. Give me a reason. Step back. My is hungry. Don't... Do I look like I have time to talk? I've got work to do. Those fools brought this Tomka back from a skirmish without its combustion manifold. They say it got shot off in the field. You tell me, how can you expect a Tomka to run without a combustion manifold? Any idea where I could find a combustion manifold? Yeah, I can make one. Give me three days and a barrel of ring call. The one they lost is probably still out in the field. It's too much to expect them to collect it and bring the damn thing back. I'm going out in the field. If I see a combustion manifold, I'll bring it back with me. If you did, it would save me a lot of work. Maybe bring back my sunny disposition. Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. Krogan's hit by genophage. Nuclear assaults. Civil wars. Still survive. Impressive to see life adapt, continue despite circumstances. Inspiring. Uh, you... Who are you? I am Fortan. Lord High Researcher in Matters Scientific for Clan Erdnot. And I don't have time to answer your inane questions. I won't take up much of your valuable time. My work is very important, human. Of course it is. I'm just curious. I'd heard a lot about the genius of Krogan science. Oh, finally, someone understands. I swear I am among brainless piejacks here, toiling among savages. I am the Lord High Researcher. You must be working on something important. I was building the biggest, best offensive ordinance yet. A real ground pounder. But the new clan leader wastes my time with frivolous research. Crop genetics, medicinal improvements. We can buy that stuff from the Salarians. Salarians created genophage, I've heard. Still trust them with medicines and agriculture? Yeah, yeah, what else can the Salarians do to us at this point? It's not like they can make us even more infertile. Actually, wait, forget I said anything. I take it you're a scientist. I used to be a scientist. I designed weapons. Now my genius is wasted on frivolous things. Things that don't explode. My predecessor said no one would understand the true worth of my work. As I pulled my blade from his chest, I knew he was telling the truth. Not exactly what I would call effective academic peer review. I don't care what you'd call it. We value the will to use what we create, not just the ability to create it. We don't count success until the ground shakes in response. Enjoy your research. Yes, yes, move along. We can use this! Things would last longer if they didn't hit it. One wrong step, Shepard. Halt. You must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is... in talk. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time, Shepard. Good enough? Excuse me. <laughs> Out of my... Shepard! My friend. You look well for dead, Shepard. 
Should have known the Void couldn't hold you. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Huh. You made the rise of Erd not possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan. Though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erdnot. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. Speak when spoken to, Uvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. Now, Shepard, what brings you here? How's the Normandy? Destroyed in a collector surprise attack. I ended up spaced. Well, you look good. Ah, the benefits of a redundant nervous system. Yeah, humans don't have that. Oh, it must have been painful then. But you're standing here, and you've got a strong new ship. Takes me back to the old days. Us against the unknown, killing it with big guns. Good times. I'm looking for a Salarian. He was captured by the Blood Pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. What's so important about maintaining individual clans? Every clan has different customs. Rites of passage, rules of behavior, battle songs, all unique. That diversity makes us great. No clan, not even mine, was meant to survive on its own. What do the women of Clan Erdnot think about this plan? It was our female clan leader's idea. The neutral area is safe, and it encourages more female clans to ally with us. Attacks on Erdnot now endanger the females of all clans. Even clans that want to see me dead will defend Clan Erdnot. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchanka, but you're an exception. Good to see you, Rex. Sure you can't come with us? Wish I could. But I need to keep these short-sighted fools in line. Hunt well, Shepard. One more win in the pits, and look at him run. Ha! Ah. Still looking for that Solarian, or did you just come to waste my time?
enjoy. Making contact!
repurposed to Krogan Hospital. Sturdy. Built to withstand punishment. That body. Human. Need to take a look. Sores. Tumors. Ligatures showing restraint at wrists and ankles. Track marks for repeated injection sites. Test subject. Victim of experimentation. Any idea whether what they gave him is contagious? No. Appears to be cultivation of cancerous cells, aggravated by torture, malnourishment. Not a virus. Probably testing vectors to attack genophage. Primary goal, not infection of humans. Humans useful as test subjects. Genetically diverse. Enables exploration of treatment modalities. Experimenting on humans? That kind of crap is what makes Cerberus start to seem like a good idea. Never used humans myself. Disgusting. Unethical. Sloppy. Used by brute force researchers, not thinkers. No place in proper science. <sighs> Krogan use of humans, unsurprising. I imagine you had to do some live subject testing while developing the new genophage. No, unnecessary. Limited tests to simulations, corpses, clone tissue samples. High level tests on Varan. No tests on species with members capable of calculus. Simple rule, never broke it. Wouldn't something native to Tachanka work better? Varan, maybe? Yes. Human experiments strictly high-level, concept testing. Native Tuchanka fauna likely used later in development stages. Wise to delay use of Varan until necessary. Powerful bite. How are humans more genetically diverse? More variable. Peaks and valleys, mutations, adaptations, far beyond other life. Makes humans useful test subjects. Larger reactions to smaller stimuli. I know we can look much different from each other, but Asari have a wide range of skin tones. No. Ignore superficial appearance, down to genetic code. Biotic abilities, intelligence levels. Can look at random Asari, Krogan, make reasonable guess. Humans, too variable to judge. Outliers in all species, of course. Geniuses, idiots. But human probability curve offers greater overall variety. What can you tell about their experiments from looking at the body? Position of tumors suggests deliberate mutation of adrenal, pineal glands. Modifying hormone levels, counterattack on glands hit by genophage. Clever. Do you think they're close to curing the genophage? Can't say. Need more data. Conceptually sound, though. Genophage alters hormone levels, could repair damage with hormonal counterattack. Now we've got two reasons to shut this place down. Focus on Malin. Too late to help the dead. I am the speaker for Clan Werelock, Offworlders. You have shed our blood. By rights, you should be dead already. But Werelock Gold, the Chief of Chiefs, has ordered that you be given leave to flee and spread the message of our coming. Krogan don't generally let people go. What does Clan Werelock have planned? If you walk away now, you can tell your children that you saw Clan Werelock before our blood pack conquered the stars. You think the Erd not impressive? They are pitiful! Warlock Gold will destroy them! The Salarian will cure the Genophage, and Clan Warlock will spread across the galaxy in a sea of blood! Appears they discovered Malin's work. Unfortunate. It doesn't have to happen like this. I can understand wanting to cure the Genophage. No, human, you understand nothing! You have not seen the piles of children that never lived. The Krogan were wronged. We will make it right, and then we will have our revenge! Half the galaxy sees the Krogan as victims. If you start a war, you'll lose their support. We have the Blood Pack, and we have the Salarian. When our clan numbers in the millions, we will not need support. When we cure the Genophage, Warlock Gold will rule all Krogan. The Krogan Rebellions will become the Krogan Empire! The surviving races will frighten their children with tales of what the Blood Pact did to the Turians. The Asari will scream as their citadel plunges into the sun. We will keep Salarians as slaves and eat their eggs as a delicacy. You talk too much. See? 
A human cannot hit a simple target. Septic hint of dead flesh. Just get us there. Can't kill me. <laughs> Just take a look. Ah! Oh. Much hiding. More <laughs> right oh. More for me. Active console may contain useful data. One moment. Genetic sequences. Hormone mutagens still steady. Protein chains. Live tissue. Clone tissue. Very thorough. Standard treatment vectors. Avoiding scorched earth immunosuppressants to alter hormone levels. Good. Hate to see that. Most people wouldn't be so casual about developing a sterility plague, Morton. Not developing. Modifying. Much more difficult. Working within confines of existing genophage. A hundred times the complexity. Errors unacceptable, could cause total sterility, malignant tumors, could even reduce effectiveness, worse than doing nothing. Had to keep Krogan population stable, one in 1,000. Perfect target, optimal growth. Like gardening. Pretty it up however you like. You're talking about murdering millions. No, murdered no one. Altered fertility, prevented fetal development of nervous system. Have killed many, Shepard. Many methods. Gunfire, knives, drugs, tech attacks. Once with farming equipment, but not with medicine. You're saying you were working just as hard to keep their population from falling? Yes. Could have eradicated Krogan. Not difficult. Increased mutation to degrade genetic structure further. Chose not to. Rachni extinction tragic. Didn't want to repeat. All life precious. Universe demands diversity. How can you agree with using the genophage, Morden? Look at what happened to Tuchanka as a result. State of Tuchanka not due to genophage. Nuclear winter caused by Krogan before Salarians made first contact. Krogan choices. Refuse truce during Krogan rebellions. Expand after Rachni wars. Splinter after genophage. Genophage medical, not nuclear. No craters from virus. Damage caused by Krogan, not Salarians, not me. So if the Krogan banded together and formed a united government, you'd welcome that? Yes. United Krogan saved Galaxy. Destroyed Rachni. Genophage, not punishment. Simply alters fertility to correct for removal from hostile environment. What was it like working on the Genophage modification project? Best years of my life. Wake up with ideas, talk over breakfast, experiments all morning. Statistical analysis in afternoon, run new simulations during dinner, set data runs to cook overnight. Laughter, ego, argument, passion, galaxy's biggest problem, massive resources thrown at us, got anything we wanted. Do you keep in touch with your old team members? No. All changed with deployment. Made test drop on isolated Krogan clan, hit rest of Tuchanka when results were positive. End of project. Separate ways. Watching it end, watching birth rates drop. Personal. Private. Not appropriate for team. 
We're not gonna find Malin staring at consoles. Come on. Dead Krogan, female. Tumors indicate experimentation. No restraint marks. Volunteer. Sterile Werelock female willing to risk procedures. Hoped for cure. Pointless. Pointless waste of life. You didn't think the Krogan would sit back and let the genophage continue, did you? Suppose not. Still unpleasant to see. Rest, young mother. Find your gods. Find someplace better. I didn't expect spirituality from you, Morden. Genophage modification project altered millions of lives. Then saw results. Ego, humility, juxtaposition, frailty of life, size of universe. Explored religions after work completed. Different races. No answers. Many questions. Sounds like you were trying to deal with your guilty conscience. The doctor who killed millions. Modified Genophage project great in scope. Scientifically brilliant. But ethically difficult. Krogan reaction visceral. Tragic. Not guilty. But responsible. Trained as doctor, genophage affects fertility, doesn't kill. Still, caused this. Hard to see big picture behind pile of corpses. Can you really just rationalize it all away? How do you justify it? Wheel of life. Popular Solarian concept. Similar to human Hinduism in focus on reincarnation. Appealing to see life as endless. Fix mistakes in next life. Learn, adapt, improve. Refuse to believe life ends here. Too wasteful. Have more to offer. Mistakes to fix. Cannot end here. Could do so much more. If you need this much soul-searching to get over it, maybe the genophage was wrong. Had to be done. Brachni wars, Krogan rebellions, all pointed to Krogan aggression. So many simulations. Effects of Krogan population increase. All pointed to war. Extinction. Genophage or genocide. Save galaxy from Krogan. Save Krogan from Galaxy. You could have cured the genophage instead. Brought hope to the Krogan. They'd have rejoiced. Assumes human reaction. Krogan stimulus response different. Harsh environment. Take chance to fight. Flee. Would have caused chaos on Tuchanka. Victor would have war economy. Bloodthirsty army. Galactic expansion only logical outcome. More war. Genophage saved lives. War would have ended. We need to find Malin and shut this place down. Yes. Interesting. Not Blood Pack, not member of Clan Werelock. Wrong clan markings. I'm a nerd, not scout. Werelock guards got me. Brought me here. The Chief Scout told us to watch for you. We've taken out the guards. Get back to Erdnot. I can't. 
The Warlock did things to me. Drugs. Injections. Said I was sacrificing for the good of all Krogan. Experiments to cure the Genophage. Everything's blurry. Hard to think. Have to stay. Morden, can you get him back on his feet? Stims, maybe? Something to bolster his immune system? You don't understand. I'm not too sick to leave. I have to stay. They're curing the Genophage. They're gonna make it all better. They have to keep doing the tests. Caution, Shepard. Patient unstable, susceptible, brainwashed. Why do you want them to keep doing the tests? This is my fault. I got caught. Wasn't strong enough. Not good enough. This is the best I can do. This is all I can do. I'm not big enough to have a real shot with the females. I'll never have kids of my own. But if I help undo the genophage, then I mattered. Millions of children will be born. Warlock children. They're gonna destroy the other clans. But... No. No, they said I was helping Erdnot. If you want to help Erdnot, you need to get back there. But it would take a real badass to make it back to camp while injured. I can do it. You? I said a badass, not some scout whining like a quarian with a tummy ache. I can do it. I'm up, and I'm going to the female camp. Damn right you are. Get back there and show them what you're worth. Go, go! Roar! Nicely done. Fortunately, subject is unlikely to be contagious. Shepard, I'm detecting crates ahead that are holding unstable materials. A misplaced shot could cause a significant explosion. Or a well-placed shot. Explosives useful. Burn through coke and armor. We've been spotted. Can't enjoy. Hostiles charging! Yeah, right on your ass. Getting up close. Can't hide from me. Deploying incineration tech. One more. Kurgan charging. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is valuable. Mainland. Alive, unharmed. No signs of restraint, no evidence of torture. Don't understand. For such a smart man, Professor, you always had trouble seeing evidence that disagreed with your preconceptions. How long will it take you to admit that I'm here because I wish to be here? Maybe the Werelock brainwashed or drugged him to keep him under control. Unlikely. Pupil's normal. Body language consistent with standard metabolic state. Please, Professor, you wrote a paper on this. Forced behavior modification always results in mental degradation. Whether from Reaper indoctrination or drugs, test subjects always lose higher cognitive function. Not brainwashed or conditioned. Need Malin at peak capacity for work. Must be alternate source of coercion. He wasn't kidnapped. He came here voluntarily to cure the genophage. Impossible. Whole team agreed. Project necessary. How was I supposed to disagree with the great Dr. Solis? I was your student. I looked up to you. Experiments performed here. Live subjects, prisoners, torture and executions. You're doing? We've already got the blood of millions on our hands, Doctor. If it takes a bit more to put things right, I can deal with that. You honestly think the experiments you did here are justified? We committed cultural genocide. Nothing I do will ever be justified. The experiments are monstrous because I was taught to be a monster. Morden, did you ever perform experiments like this? No. Never taught you this, Malin. So your hands are clean. What does it matter if the ground is stained with the blood of millions? You taught me that the end justified the means. I will undo what we did, Professor. The only way I know how. What happens if the genophage is cured and the Krogan expand again? That will be on your head. We justified this atrocity by saying the Krogan would cause havoc and war if their population recovered. But look at the galaxy. Batarian attacks in the Traverse. Geth attacks in the Citadel. Is this a more peaceful universe? The assault on your Eden Prime might never have happened if we had let the Krogan recover. We'll never know. How would a Krogan population explosion have done anything to stop Saren and the Geth? An increased Krogan population would have forced the Council to take steps, likely involving colony rights in the Traverse. The Turian fleets would be vigilant for any military activity in the area. They might have stopped the Geth at Eden Prime. Supposition. Impossible to be certain. Don't you see? We tried to play God and we failed. We only made things worse. 
and I'm going to fix it. You talked about killing, but the genophage isn't lethal. It only affects fertility rates. Krogan fight over fertile females. They become mercenaries or pirates because they see no alternative. They would be thriving in a cultural renaissance now had we not decided that this is what they deserved. Inaccurate. Krogan population resulted in war. Simulations were clear. Why work with Clan Warlock? And how did you access the genophage data? The data was easy to obtain. We all still had clearance. We were heroes. All I had to do was ask. As for the Warlock, they were the only clan with both the resources and the commitment. Erdnot has a larger camp than Warlock. Why not use them? Erdnot Rex is too soft. He wasn't willing to do the experiments I needed. It's Erdnot's loss and Warlock's gain. Their clan will be the first to recover from the crime we committed. Malin clearly doesn't need rescuing. What do you want to do? Have to end this. You can't face the truth, can you? Can't admit that your brilliant mind led you to commit an atrocity! Unacceptable experiments. Unacceptable goals. Won't change. No choice. Have to kill you. Wait. You don't need to do this, Morden. You're not a murderer. <sighs> no. Not a murderer. Thank you, Shepard. Finished, Malin. Get out. No warlock left. Project over. What if he talks to more Krogan? Tells the public about the modified genophage project? Special tasks group good at covering tracks. No proof. Warlock willingness to work with Salarian, unusual. Other Krogan will kill him. Aren't you worried that he'll start his research again? No. Locking this unit. Special task group can cut access to old data. Could start from scratch. Decades of work, though. Didn't teach you everything I knew. You heard the Professor. Get out before he changes his mind. Where am I supposed to go, Professor? Don't care. Try Omega. Can always use another clinic. The Krogan didn't deserve what we did to them, Professor. The genophage needs to end. Not like this. Apologies, Commander. Misunderstood mission parameters. No kidnapping. My mistake. Thank you. Don't worry about me, Morden. How are you doing? Should have killed him. Wanted to. Easier than listening. Easier for him, too. Experiments indicate how far he's fallen. Expected it from Krogan. Not one of mine. Maybe you'll remember that the next time you're discussing the ethics of the genophage. Yes. So many variables. Stress responses. Impossible to truly predict. Something to think about. Malin's research. Only loose end. Could destroy it. Closure. Security. Still valuable, though. If you think it could be useful, why not hang on to it? Worked for years to create modified genophage. Should destroy this. Malin's work could cure genophage. Don't know. Effects on Krogan. Effects on Galaxy. Too many variables. Too many variables. Keep the data. Better to have it and not need it. Point taken, Shepard. Capturing data. Wiping local copy. Still years away from cure. But closer than starting from scratch. Done. Ready to go. Ready to be off to Chanka. Anywhere else. Maybe somewhere sunny. Let's get out of here.
Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Still hard to believe Malin betrayed me, betrayed my work, disgusted by his actions. Proud of his nerve, though. Always thought he lacked backbone. Hope he finds something new, better goal, better purpose, fewer torture tests. You're really at peace with what happened? Yes, of course. Can't change what happened. Life continues. Back to mission, back to work. Become like Malin otherwise. Salarian emotional processing faster than other species. Has to be. Short-lived culture can't spend time reminiscing. So you really don't feel bad at all about what happened on Tachanka? Yes, correct. Now, at least. Greatly distressed at the time. Stages of grief, loss, anger, rationalization. Dealt with it. Most issues settled on Tachanka, some on shuttle back to Normandy. What about Malin's data on the genophage? His attempts at a cure? What about it? Have it over there somewhere. Not dealing with it now. Need to focus on collectors. Not important now, regardless. Appreciate you helping me back on Tachanka. Should get back to work. Wasted enough time already. Lots to do. Talk later.